Jackson drives, kicks it up top to Hart. Hart puts up a three. Bang! Josh Hart from Demo Town! And the Knicks lead by three! And they did what the Knicks thought they would do. They were going to double team. Hart was the guy they left open. He made them pay. Straight on with the hoop with the three ball. But two to toss it in. Floats it. Heel throws it up. It's off! Well, the Knicks have advanced to the Eastern Conference semifinals after a roller coaster ride in Game 6 against Philly. The Knicks started the game hot, jumping out to a 22 point lead, but Buddy Heald and the Sixers came back. Philly had a three point lead at the half, and they led by as many as 10 in the third. But the seesaw battle continued. Knicks regaining an eight point lead in the fourth, only to see it evaporate under 30 seconds. Game tied at 111 until Josh Hart drills the dagger as the Knicks win the series, taking game six, 118 to 115. What a series it was for the Knicks and Sixers, but that's over now. Tomorrow night, it's the Knicks and Pacers at the Garden. No Patrick Ewing, no Reggie Miller, but I'm sure Spike Lee will be there. And joining us now, the creator of Knicks Fan TV, CP the franchise. CP, welcome back, bud. Joe, hope everything is well with you. Doing as best I can right now. All right, so CP, before we move on to the Pacers, what's your biggest takeaway from the Sixers series? My biggest takeaway was that I, I was in good health because you had to be to get through that series. It was not for the pain of heart to see the Knicks come back and win in game four. The way that they lost in dramatic fashion at MSG, at Madison Square Garden in game five and then to have a 22 point lead in game six, give it all away, be down by 10 and have the guts and resiliency to bounce back. It just speaks to the heart and grit of this team. They're led by their superstar and Jalen Brunson. His resume, his star continues to shine 35 points per game and nine assists assists and then every night there just seemed to be a new hero a new role player emerge uh, Josh Hart being a big part of that so great job by this New York Knicks team all right let's hope you and the Knicks are recovered and don't suffer an emotional letdown here as they get ready to start their series against the Pacers the team's only played three times this season Indy took two out of three but the home team won all the games Knicks obviously with home court advantage in this series how do you think the Pacers match up in the, against the Knicks here yeah, well, it's hard to really glean anything off of their regular season matchup because the two teams were pretty different. For the Knicks, from a personnel standpoint, yeah, Julius Randle playing the first game. No OG Ananobi for the Knicks in any of those games. For the Pacers, on the injury front, you had Tyrese Halliburton playing limited minutes in the final two games. However, the Indiana Pacers do bring a brand of basketball that will be different from what the Knicks face in Philadelphia, and they are run-and-gun, up-tempo style. And for the Knicks, they will be in for a track meet. All right, so is that style of play, you think, better or worse for the Knicks than what they just faced against the Sixers? It all depends on if the Knicks can play their A game, Joe, and that is controlling the glass, playing physical, playing defense, playing mistake-free basketball, and taking quality shots, getting quality looks at the rim. This is one stat that I found pretty outstanding for the Indiana Pacers. They led the league in the playoffs with wide-open three-point attempts at 173. The next closest team was the Philadelphia 76ers at 106. So the Pacers want to bomb away, and for the Knicks, they have to be careful with their shot selection, get good shots, and try to control the tempo as best as they can because the Pacers are going to be out to run. All right, obviously a lot of the talk going into the series for Knicks fans will be about going up against Obi Toppin, who they obviously let go in the offseason there, uh, or traded, I should say. But uh, with Tyrese Halliburton, that's their all-star. What can they do to slow him down? It's their head of the snake, and I'd like to see the Knicks apply a lot of their size and wingspan on Tyrese Halliburton. I'd like to see them deploy Josh Hart and then OG Ananobi on Halliburton to try to steady him at the point of attack because what Halliburton and the Pacers want to do is get as many deep looks into the paint so that they can kick it out to their three-point shooters. Miles Turner is an X factor for me in this series. The Knicks do not handle uh, floor spacing bigs and guys that can knock down the three as well as Miles Turner. And so how he plays off of Tyrese Halliburton will be key in this series. You know, we obviously saw Jalen Brunson figure it out after games one and two against the Pacers. What do you, uh, excuse me, against the Sixers. What do you think the Pacers are going to do to try and limit Brunson here in this series? 
Similarly, I think you will see them deploy some of their size. Aaron Neesmith, a pesky wing defender. I think he will get a lot of the assignment on Jalen Brunson. Pascal Siakam as well. Tyrese Halliburton and, and even Andrew Nebhard. And so the Pacers are going to throw the kitchen sink at Jalen Brunson to try to slow him down. You could see uh, some zone defense there for, on a Pacer defense that is not all, all that great. And so, uh, But for Jalen Brunson, the way that he was able to adjust to what the Sixers were showing him after the first two games, I have no doubts that he will play a strong series against the Pacers as well. All right, starting tomorrow through Game 5, the games will be every other day. We know the Knicks are banged up. How important do you think health is going to be in this series? It's vital. It was great that they got three games off after winning in game six. I'm going to look for the Knicks to extend the bench a little bit. They were going with seven rotation players from game four on, but I'm not sure if they'll be able to sustain that against a high octane pacer offense. So I would look for Presses Achua to get minutes here, use his versatility to guard guys like a Miles Turner and a Pascal Siakam. And you may even see an Alec Burks to get spot minutes at the guard spot if the Knicks are in need for a bit of offense and to spell Jalen Brunson and Dante Diva. Vincenzo. All right, and CP, I know you're going to be having a watch party. Where can people come hang out if they want to uh, take in the series with Knicks Fan TV? Yes, absolutely. Sucker Punch Bar, 344 3rd Avenue. It's 3rd Avenue and 25th Street. It's a great time. Come and watch the game. We play live game audio, have a DJ to play during the commercials, and do giveaways after each quarter. So it's a great time. Come out and hang out with us. And hopefully you can celebrate a Knicks win. CP, the franchise, Knicks Fan TV, thanks for stopping by as always, bud. Joe, anytime. Have a great week.